guys, what's up? DLive here, and I am here with some more That's Not My Neighbor. Today, we're going to be showing all the endings to the campaign mode in a nice little small video. Also, I'll be giving my thoughts on the game since I wasn't able to do that at the end of the campaign mode. Since this game has been a, such an impact to my channel, such a massive positive impact and brought so many people in, I wanted to give it a nice send off since uh, the dev has told me that they're looking to move on from the game and do new projects. They might come back and add some stuff, but for now, all the game modes are added and uh, we have a lot of content for a $2.99 game. So I appreciate all the effort that they put into this game. And I'll give my thoughts on all the game modes and the game as a whole after the endings. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's jump in. Yes, beautiful. All right, we did it. We finished our week. <laughs> Look at what had to happen. You just had to do your job, but no. You had to stick your nose where it didn't belong. Did you think you could change something? You're nobody. You're just a simple doorman of your building. Correction, you were the doorman of your building. <gasps> you know what to do, boys. Wait, don't do it. They got me. That is crazy. All right, I guess continue. What happens when there's no neighbors left? <laughs> Due to the performance of the past week, the DD informs you that you've been removed from your position. <gasps> Moreover, with the right granted to me by the government of our country, you are under arrest for the indirect murder of your neighbors. <gasps> we got arrested. <laughs> Let's see what we get. There's no neighbors alive. Oh, wait, what? We should thank you. Thanks to you, we were able to take full control of this building. Next will be the city, then the state, then the country. Now join with your fellow humans. I guess I died. <laughs> That's where I'm going. All right. Well, that was the ending. That's pretty cool. We've never seen that doppelganger, right? Or is that based on somebody? We did it. Woo! That was the last one. Yay! Honorable employee. This document certifies that you are the best doorman your building has ever had. Congratulations. Yay! Please be end. Thank God. Who did I kill? <gasps> I did it. Payout check. The DDD thanks you for your service as the building's doorman over the past week, for which you are paid a total of. Wait, I can't see. Wait, it doesn't tell me. Doppel's captured. Oh, did something happen? Wait. It doesn't tell me. I got a thing, but it doesn't tell me. Am I supposed to be able to do something? <gasps> For which you are paid a total of blank. We hope to see you next week. I'm assuming that says. It doesn't tell me at all. I think this is very bugged at the moment. Maybe that's what's going on. I don't know what we got. Oh. What achievement? What ending did we get? I'm so confused. We got just like Henry. Achieve this ending in campaign mode. So I'm assuming we just did good enough. All right, those are all the endings to campaign mode. The links to all those videos will be in the playlist in the description of this video. I wanna go over the game. Uh, first, uh, the parts of the game, the game modes, and I'm going to lead off with the most, one of the most recent game modes, campaign modes, since that is kind of what everyone should start playing first if they play this game for the first time. So I was expecting a bit more with it, um, 
basically you go through the week, a seven day week, and depending on how many doppelgangers you let in, you'll get different endings. Um, and then the in-between days, it talks more about Chester and how Chester became Chester uh, that you see in arcade mode. Um, I was expecting maybe like another floor added. I had huge expectations. Um, but as a whole, the campaign mode is great. Um, what it does is it's a, bit, a lot more difficult than arcade mode, um, but you still get those wacky doppelgangers that can come in. I like the mechanic where if you let a doppelganger in, it's not you that feels the impact. It's the neighbors that you're supposed to watch. <laughs> so uh, I think that was really, really cool. I enjoyed that. I think it was fun not just dying because it's like you could just go again. But then at the end of your playthrough, oh, I killed Mia by letting in um, an Afton doppelganger or, you know, I got I, I did played amazing. I didn't let anyone die. Um, so again, there's five different endings, which adds a lot of replayability to campaign mode. But once you finish campaign mode, I don't suggest playing it anymore because arcade mode is more fun. It's more replayable. There's a lot more wacky doppelgangers you can get, but you can in campaign mode force. If you can kill everybody, but one person, you can force getting just doppelgangers of them. So if you really want to see specific doppelgangers of a certain neighbor, that's a good way of playing it to be honest with you. But the campaign mode. I would give it um, just because my expectations were so high and it was such a long period of time. I was just expecting, in my honest opinion, I was expecting another floor with additional neighbors um, and it would like add to arcade mode um, or just be campaign mode exclusives. I was expecting that, but I feel like they're, in my opinion, I would have added a little bit more story. I didn't feel like there was a lot of story. The endings held all the story. Um, and I feel like Chester was just kind of like a side quest kind of side story kind of thing. Cause he's just a character in the game. Um, I feel like I didn't have a lot of answers. It's basically like, I, I think we got more answers and more lore in nightmare mode with the like little letter that we get that we have to figure out. Um, so basically Afton and the DDD created the doppelgangers and now they're trying to control them and keep them from taking over the world. That's the basic story and all the endings come from that. Um, but if I have to give it a grade, I'd give it a B. I'd give it a B. It was great. I was just expecting a lot more story. I don't think there was enough story in it uh, for a campaign mode. Now, moving on to the next game mode that you should play after campaign, which is arcade mode. I give this thing an A+. I love it. I love seeing all the wacky doppelgangers. You get some really small ones. You get the angry ones. Uh, and then you get the real wacky ones and then you have your neighbors that you have to keep alive and I like that you die at the end <laughs> if you let in a doppelganger because you think that you've done it you think you've made it through and uh, you just die and of course this game exploded with the arcade mode um, I think what this game does well is the wacky doppelgangers um, and the tension trying to figure out if you're doing it right if you've caught everything oh, I love the tension I love the art style of this game and arcade mode was the thing that introduced us and i'd give arcade mode a freaking fat a plus um amazing uh the next uh, there's not much to say because that's pretty much arcade mode is just super fun uh, uh, like i said all the stuff i said boom uh my favorite game mode of all is arcade mode um so much replayability ridiculous amount of replayability one of the most replayable things i've ever played in my life and it's like i was so excited um to do it for you guys i was so happy you guys enjoyed this game so much because not not always is my enjoyment of a game line up with your guys' enjoyment of a game like the level sometimes i'll like a game you guys really love it sometimes i really love a game and you guys are like you like it or you just don't really like it kind of thing and sometimes there's games that i don't like and you guys want me to play so it's nice when a game does that <laughs> um all right so the next game mode is nightmare mode Thought it was amazing. Loved it. I love the art style more of all the horror themed characters and the difficulty. I would say that it loses. It's not as replayable as arcade mode because you don't get those really wacky doppelgangers. The whole allure of it is that it's difficult. You have to really look at it. It's for it's for people who want to challenge. Um, I'd give it a, a I'd give it an A still because I love the freaking characters. It's so amazing. But like once I had my fill and I was 
I was winning the rounds. I actually like, a lot of people don't like the clown at the end. I love that. I love how the, the most difficult game mode throws a game of chance at the end and you could fail because of that. I think that's absolutely hilarious. <laughs> love the character design. I love the atmosphere of it. Um, amazing. Love it, love it, love it. And then endless mode is basically uh, an extension of nightmare mode. It takes away the clown, so it solves that problem. Um, I get it if you want to do streaks, you you wouldn't want a game of chance at the end. Um, and it's basically the same thing. You just keep going, you play as much as you want, and you try to get the biggest streaks. It's for people who like to do streaks. People who want to play the game mode without the clown. Uh, again, I give that an A. I thought it was well designed. Um, it would be cool to do an endless mode of arcade mode. I think that would be... It would have been cool if there was two options for nightmare and arcade mode. So that's like the uh, only gripe I have with it. Um, but yeah, I thought it was, and uh, I thought it was, it was a great addition. Definitely, definitely a positive uh, addition to the game. The game as a whole, give it an A plus, <laughs> A plus. It's a two ninety nine game, two dollars and ninety nine cents. It has four game modes. It has so much replayability. There's a lot of games that cost $20 and you play it once. It's story based game. It has no diversions, no di no, like you don't have like multiple endings. You don't have different paths. Your choices don't matter. It's just basically an experience, which is fine. And it's $20. This $2.99 game has so much more replayability and content than most $20, $30 games I've ever come across. I absolutely love this game and it's made by one person <laughs> developed by one person it has some artists but together such a small little group of indie uh, this is my favorite type of game because you get some really really cool things from people creatively that aren't like in a triple triple uh, a studio in a big studio because you have more freedom and it's so great to see how well this game did um again no secret that it exploded my channel i started this new channel for my old channel and it absolutely was the first thing to blow up on my channel. Brought in a lot of people. Um, we're getting real close to 50,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, you should totally do it. Um, always love this game. I've got a plushie coming soon, hopefully. Um, apparently, they announced a new one, a Peaches one. So I'll have to check that out. Um, I have to get that. <laughs> Definitely have to get that. Um, again, enjoyed the endings, too. I, I Maybe I didn't touch on that. I loved all the endings. I thought they were cool. Um, I never thought any of the endings were bad. Um, I feel like they had the most story in the entire game. You you spent like an hour, hour to two hours. For me, it was probably an hour. For other people, most people, it probably took them an hour and a half to two hours because I've played the game so much that I should be able to do it with my eyes closed. But the endings were great. I love the endings. I love that Afton was in one of them. I love that like we had the secret doppelganger that came out of nowhere. Um, <laughs> But uh, love it. I love the game. And uh, you guys haven't seen Endless Mode. I forgot to mention that. I will be making, I already have a video of that. It'll come up after. Um, I'm gonna try to get the final achievements with that. And that'll be the wrapping up of the game until they add more content. So if you guys have any games for me to play in the future, let me know down below and I'll check them out. And uh, subscribe if you haven't, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye.